YTBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm going right in on Americon. I'm going right in, and I'm going to tell you, I'm making a video. I'm going to make me a video about American Con every chance I get. I'm going to make a video. You idiots can say what you want to say. You can say that I'm hating on Con. I'm not hating on... What What has he got to hate on? What does he... Well, he probably got a little bit more money than me. But what has he got to hate on, okay? I'm not hating on Con. I hate his stupidity, okay? So Con is giving another interview talking about why should he give Kale Brook a payday fight? Why should Floyd Mayweather give you a payday fight? Con, you stupid idiot. It's a payday for you and Brook, okay? Con stands to make at least $10 million fighting Kale Brook, okay? At least 10 mil. And he's turning that down because he wants to chase less money from Floyd Mayweather. I don't get it. You still talking about you won't fight Kell Brook. You ain't fighting Kell Brook, man. And I'm telling you something right now, okay? Don't say, Con fans, that he deserves a Floyd fight. You know what? I'm sick of all these people. I want to fight Floyd. I want to fight Floyd. Oh, I get to fight Floyd. The hell with Floyd. The hell with Floyd. Floyd ass is retiring. He is retiring. All you guys need to start making your own legacies and fight each other instead of wanting to fight Floyd. I'm sick of it. Now I'm getting upset in this thing because a fight that we want to see. And none of you con fans are screaming for it. None of you con fans are getting on social media calling him a coward. He's a coward. He don't want to fight Kell Brook and that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. He don't want to fight Kell Brook. We are screaming for that fight. I'm screaming for it. Everybody in the YTBC is screaming for that fight. I don't want to see Khan fight Mayweather. I really just don't. My reason for that is I think Floyd will just school him easy, beat him, move out the way, dodge, back up, hit him with a punch, win on 9-3. to three. That's my thoughts. I want to see a brutal boxing match. And Kell Brook and Amir Khan will give me that. And that's just the way that is. Okay? Khan should not be fighting anybody else but Kell Brook. And that's just how it is. Kell Brook talking about, well, I, I think I deserve the Mayweather fight. I don't want to see Kell fight Mayweather. I want to see Kell fight Khan. I'm sick of Khan every time I turn around. There's an interview. Okay? He's upset now talking about he upset because Floyd don't want to fight him. Con, I don't want him to fight you. You know why? Because you're a bitch. You're a bitch, Con. I don't want him to fight you, Con. I mean, dude, all you talking about, you talking about Brooke want a payday? You talking about Brooke want a payday? I mean, man, this, it, it's getting stupid, man. It's getting stupid. Why should you get him a payday? You want to see Kell Brook fight Keith Thurman. I think Kell Brook already proved himself by beating the hell out of Sean Porter. I already think that, okay? Con, either shut your mouth, put your money where your mouth is, okay? I don't think, and I'm telling you dudes this, and y'all ain't got to listen to me, but I can tell you when somebody's afraid. I can tell you as a coach, as a coach, 21 years in the game of coaching, I can tell you when an athlete is afraid. I'm going to break this down. I can't wait till I put this video out about how can I tell who's afraid. Because we always say in the sport of boxing that dudes, dudes is afraid. We say this all the time. We say dudes is afraid, and sometimes we, we are dead on, and sometimes we not, okay? But sometimes, you know, I can tell you if a dude's afraid. Khan, this is a guy that is afraid. He doesn't, I don't think he's physically afraid of Kell Brook, but he is definitely afraid that he will lose to Kell Brook. There's a difference, okay? Like, you know, but I look at it too, you know, if you ever had a fight when you was a kid, if you ever, ever, ever in your life had a fight, okay, when you was a kid, okay, and point blank, when you're fighting on the street, you're really, really not afraid that you're going to lose. You're afraid. Either you're afraid or you're not afraid. See, I don't give people this card, you're afraid you're going to lose, okay? I, I don't think so. I just think that either you are afraid or you are not afraid, and that's just the way that is. You're afraid or you're not afraid, but God dog it. Khan, I mean, Amir Khan, you need to go ahead and take the chance, man. You need to go ahead and take the chance and go ahead and fight this dude. 
if your skill is superior to his, then you can beat him. I mean, I picked Khan to win the fight anyway. But I can't understand why this dude won't step in the ring with Kell Brook. And none of you Khan fans that ride him, that follow this dude, every chance you get, you have never given me a good reason. Don't tell me that Kell Brook ain't fought nobody. Kell Brook is the IBF champion. Don't say that. Becoming a champion is not as easy as it looks most of the time. Don't tell me that Kell Brook ain't never fought nobody because that's just a load of monkey piss. It's a load of monkey piss. And I'm telling you, Con, you know what? And then I see some of you getting on YouTube uh, making out your goofy videos. Uh, uh, some of you making out a bunch of goofy videos talking about how Con shouldn't fight a uh, uh, Kell Brook yet. And I ain't going to say the channel, but some of you, some of you butthurt people, some of you butthurt con fans making goofy videos. Okay? You know, you want to get on guys like me for making a video speaking the truth. What you mean, what has Kale done? He beat Sean Porter, and it wasn't a, a close fight. See, I want y'all to notice how delusional Amir Khan really is. He's saying that he fought a close fight with Sean Porter. Dude, that fight was not even close, okay? Brooke didn't lose the fight, and Khan talking about, oh, I think Porter lost the fight to, uh, I thought Khan, I thought, uh, Kell Brook lost the fight to Porter. Really? You're the only person, Khan, you're the only person who thinks Kell Brook lost to Sean Porter. Are you kidding me? You're one delusional, terrified, self-centered, self-made bitch. And I said to your face, if I could interview you, that's what I would call you. See, Con, nobody's, nobody's afraid of you. Nobody's afraid of you, okay? Nobody's afraid of you. And, I ain't, and, I, and I'm telling you right now, Con, I hope whoever you get in the ring with Con, I hope you get in the ring with the Thurman. I hope you get in the ring with somebody who's going to brutalize you for 12 rounds and make you quit the sport of boxing, you stupid punk. You punk. I smell you, Con, and it smells like a porcupine piss. Con, I'm sick of you. We're sick of you, okay? And you have been shoving your agenda down the people's throats. And we're sick of it, Con. We're sick of it. First, after your last fight, you blame Virgil Hunter for your performance. I can't stand that about you. Every time you have a fight that sucks like you get, did against Chris Algieri, this man, you, oh, I can't stand him. You get in the ring and you fight an average fight against Algieri. You Mr. Potato Head, man, you get in there and you fight an average fight against Chris Algieri. And now you're talking about Kell Brook lost the fight to Showtime Sean Porter. Are you kidding me? You nearly get your ass kicked by Chris Algieri, Con. You get your, you almost get beat by Chris Algieri. He staggered you. A dude with eight knockouts stagger you? And you talking about Kell Brook don't have it, the skill set to beat you? That Kell Brook got beat by Showtime Sean Porter? That, that Kell Brook wasn't on Sean Porter's level? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Con? You're afraid. You are afraid, American. You're afraid, and I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. Okay? I can't wait if that ever that fight ever happens. I don't care. If you fight Keith Thurman, you're gonna get your ass kicked. If you fight Floyd Mayweather, you're gonna lose on 12 rounds unanimous decision. If you fight a Showtime Sean Porter, you're gonna get hit. Okay? If Chris Algieri staggered you, Keith Thurman or Showtime Sean Porter may knock you the hell out. And I tell you what, before Khan before Khan leaves the sport of boxing, he is gonna get knocked out again. Okay, you mark my words. Coach Shelton Harrison said it first. Khan is going to get knocked out again before he leaves the sport of boxing, and that's just the way that is. And all you Khan fans, you running around here trolling from page to page, talking about how good. I don't care what you guys say. Okay, he is clearly ducking, and you call it for what it is. Don't tell me he waiting on Floyd Mayweather. He is ducking Kell Brook. He is ducking Keith Thurman. He is ducking these men because he's saying he's waiting for the super fight against Floyd Mayweather Khan you are you're sexually frustrated because Floyd Mayweather isn't attracted to you 
I think this man is homosexual, and I think that this man is physically attracted to Floyd Mayweather. There is no other way about this crap. And I don't care what you con fans say. I don't care how many dislikes you give this video. You want some, you come get some. Because I'm ready, and I'm going to fire back at every last one of y'all. Because y'all know that what this man is doing is a load of horse piss. It's a load of porcupine piss. It's a load of monkey piss. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Oh, look at that funny guy with a super Mr. Potato Head. You can make a funny potato head with me, Super Mr. Potato Head. Shake hands, Mr. Potato Head. You get eyes and ears and funny noses and hands. You can bend in so many poses. You can even make a Mrs. Potato Head with me, Super Mr. Potato Head. I like you, you funny guy. New Super Mr. Potato Head.